Alright everyone, hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded, LLG. So, uh, in this episode I'll be taking on... Well, taking on? Not much to take on, it's a town, it's the Mesa. I'm just walking through it and buying some stuff. So, item, skills, equip, relics. Cursor should be unlocked, so move it down to Terra. Equip, top thing. And thankfully the earrings are about halfway down. That's the upside because I just have to press R once and I pretty much right next to them. The downside is that uh, the, when the Mithril Glove goes into my inventory, uh, it messes up the cursor, or the order of the relics, so I've got to remember that the second time it's only one from. I only have to move my cursor back up one. So now that the relics are equipped. Uh, yeah, I, I just exited straight out of the menu there because equip menu. I go through the equip menu, but I don't really know where all that well, so I don't really care. Equip, top thing, move down to the Thunderblade for an extra couple of uh, magic power. Not really important, but it stacks up with the Magus hat I'm throwing on here for another five, and the white dress that I'm throwing on here for another five. I'm not equipping the Ice Brand because it's harder, and there's no reason to. Even though he's the fire guy, it doesn't really matter. So, uh, this time I know, remember that I'm on the equip thing. The last time I messed up, uh, I moved down to status by accident, and uh, thought that I was on config, so I ended up scrolling through my characters, and ended up th leaving Locke in the lead when I'm not supposed to. I mean, switched Shadow with the empty slot, which was totally pointless. It's just a dead guy with the nothing. Alright, so here we go. Here's what I'm actually tending to do here. Move Locke's controller into the second slot. Still not sure if that will even be what I want exactly, but Hopefully it will be, so I don't have to change back later. So let's swap these two, and we're pretty much off. I was originally thinking, oh, Terra and Strago, they're both throwing, they're both just throwing ice rods, so, I mean, as you could probably guess by my completely decking Terra out in magic gear with uh, no concern for her well-being in terms of defense, I... But the thing is, Terra has to morph, which means I still need to do some thinking. It shouldn't be too hard, though, because morph does not move the cursor around, and anything Strago has will. Should be lore, because obviously he's got some to start with. I probably overkilled that. Uh, so yeah, walking up to the... Weapon shop. I know this is the mistake that actually killed the run last time because I don't care if I accidentally left Locke in the lead. I can switch his position later. It's not that hard. And I would be fine with doing that off camera. But if I spend 6,000 gil on thunder rods that are useless, that is bad. I mixed it up because I thought. I had to move three down for the Thunder Rods when uh, it was, they were actually third from the top, so I essentially only have to move two down. So I mixed up where the three was and why, so... So now I'm just on my way out. Might as well, just for simplicity, so that I don't have to... Because it's just easier this way. Alright, now let's walk straight back in. The maze is nice, it's not like... Other towns like Kolingen or Nikea, where everything's crammed together and there's a million NPCs that want to get in your way. This place has a wide open area, so the NPCs have a lot of freedom to not be in your way. And there's not that many of them, unlike Vector, which sort of had the same thing with the wide open area thing. So let's walk up here. The, fr the fence in the corner of the house corner me into this corner. Corner, corner. So, it makes it really easy to get into Strago's house here. Strago's up here next to the door, and cutscene! Alright, 
Gotta try to aim for the name properly thing. Nope, I messed it up. I guess the fade in threw me off. So yeah, you're getting to be Straga again. Sorry, Straga. I know it's not the name you wanted. And here comes Realm, who I should be able to name properly, unless I'm just suddenly spurting some incompetence here. Hello, Realm, making cameo at this point in time. Maybe foreshadowing rather than cameo, more like it. You know, I was thinking when I started this adventure, you know what we're gonna need to defeat Kafka? An artist. That's what we're gonna need. A little kid artist. Alright, this time I know I don't have to menu trick until I hear Interceptor bark a couple times, so... This cutscene's pretty... longish. Not like super, super long, but lots of talking. There we go. There we go. All right, so now we can start menu tricking, and by we I mean I, because you're obviously not playing. I mean, unless you do happen to be playing at this exact moment while also watching the video, but I deem that rather unlikely. So walk all the way to left to this fence. Why he needs a fence, like, literally right next to the building, I have no idea, but there's a fence there. It's like if I had my fence literally just going past the wall of my house. So pointless. Alright, down to the well. This well is nicely placed. It's like one of the only things in the maze, and it's at a place that it helps me navigate, so... Thank you, well builders. You would think there's something to it, but in fact, it is just an ordinary well. Alright, so now we are in the inn. So let's talk to the innkeeper. Get our ridiculously low price stay. Seriously, if he offers the. <laughs> he has no idea how economics work, does he? I'm surprised he's not out of business. Maybe he gets, like, donations or something. <laughs> donations to keep his inn open, because it's, like, almost free. Now, now that I think about it, who would be staying at the inn in the Mesa in a hidden town, way out in the boondocks? Uh, it's kind of hidden, and I just said that. Yeah, it's like a hidden town. Who would st just stay there for a night? Everyone who lives here presumably already has their own house already. Yeah, I have no idea how this is a viable economic business model, but... Well, I guess... I mean, I am staying here, but I only paid a single GP. Better not spend it all in one place, although that may be pretty tricky considering it's like one of their currency. It's like having one dollar and trying not to spend it all in one place. It, I mean, what would I buy? Bubblegum? Alright, so I'm probably out of this, and I think I probably got it this time. But if I didn't, I'll probably end up having to do some shenanigans off camera. So we're on the config, and down to that, save, and hopefully goodbye. That was 30 seconds last, and last attempt. Yay! Bye. One, two, three. Pretty sure this is ice rods. Two of them. If it's not, I'm going to have to redo the segment.